Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech, and I'll show you how to hack AC chargers. First of all, let me show you what I'm doing. And this, um, my, my son knows guitar, and he has these two pedals that he wants to use. But they take a 9-volt battery. Well, the 9-volt battery only lasts a couple days. So he wants the AC charger. So the AC charger for this thing is 25 bucks. But I got these leftovers from other uh, devices I threw out, and they're free. So on this AC charger, it's 9 volt, 800 milliamp. And that's pretty much what this and this take. So I'm gonna use this AC adapter, but it has the wrong end. See how the end is small? Well, I can't fit it in there, it doesn't fit. And it doesn't fit in here either. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut it. So I'm gonna cut this off, like so. Okay. Then I have this AC charger, and this one is, is not going to work because it's 10 volt and only 150 milliamp. So that's not going to work. But on the other side of this end, it has the perfect plug. So I'm going to use this plug. So I want this plug on this adapter. Cut it right here. I don't need that anymore. And so now I'm left with this. Right here. So I'm going to connect this now with the proper AC adapter. Like that. And this side too. Twist it up. So if you want to find out what side is positive and negative, this is what you do, is put your meter in DC mode, then you put your one lead on one side, another lead on the other side, and have it plugged in, of course. And if it's reading, you might want to have gloves on if, when you do this, just in case it's high voltage coming out. But it should be reading positives, 9 volt, 9.6 volts positive. Now, if you know if you got it wrong backwards, so if we had it backwards, it would say negative with a stripe right here. It'll say dash 9.68 volts. So now that we know what side is negative and positive on this side, uh, where the AC adapter side is, and on this side where we got this cable, the red is positive and the black is going to be negative. So the only thing you have to do is just make sure you label the positive and negative on this side. And now that I know which side is positive and negative on each wire, we're going to put an X right where the end is right here. And then you want to twist it. By like half an inch, you want to twist it. And after you do that, you want to cut off the other remainder. It's going to look like that, maybe like a half inch. All right. And let's go ahead and dip it in the flux. That's going to help it solder. Now that I held it down, I'm going to go ahead and put some solder where the flux is. Let it soak in. Let it heat up. And it should soak right in. You don't want to breathe that junk in. It's not really healthy. Let's go ahead and put an X right there and then cross twist it up and cut it so it's going to look like that let's hold it down oh, actually let's dip it so we're going to dip it and let's go ahead and hold it down Let's go ahead and heat it up. I'm using a butane soldering iron. Get at Amazon. So 
So let just let it heat up and then the solder should soak right in. You want to fold this side down like that and this side like that. You want to keep them separated. So the positive side is going to face down. And then this side, the negative, is going to face the other way. And we're going to wrap it. Using a black electric tape. So now we're going to get our black electric tape and wrap it up. All right, so now that we have this cable that was actually from my Swiffer, I got this Y adapter that I got on Amazon right here. And I'm just gonna plug it in like that. Plug it into the wah pedal. Plug it into the distortion pedal right here. And if I press this, the light hopefully will turn on. And it does, it works. All right, so we got it all plugged in to the amplifier. We're going to test it out. And no more batteries for you, Dom. Yay. Right. Thanks for watching, sub, like, and share.